<laughs> Alright guys, we just finished the workout at the gym. However, I feel like it's a nice, sunny, beautiful day. Why not get some tan? Tanning going on. I haven't tanned in a while. My tan is like super bad, especially like on my arms. The ratio is off significantly. So I'm gonna go inside my dorm, get my tanning oil, and uh, sit out in the sun for a couple hours, just relax, think, listen to a podcast, get some information stirring in my brain. I love, I love listening to podcasts, guys. If I haven't told you guys before, there's just so much valuable information that you could always be learning. And there's always something new to learn. So I absolutely love that about podcasts, depending on which ones you listen to. I specifically love listening to the scientific-based approach to working out and the body and the anatomy and the physiology of the body because that's just what I personally love. So, like I said, let's go get that tan on. And as you can see, this is why we couldn't tan. Look at the sky, it's so cloudy right now, right? However, I did bring spray because I'm gonna stop at the tanning booth place, I guess you can call it, and uh, I'm gonna see how much the prices cost there. So I'm about to copy Max Tuning's um, Sick Transitions. You guys know he's like an inspiration to me, so let's go. What? Okay, so uh, we're here at Tan Your Hide, and let's put this in the truck. I don't need that. I'm gonna see how much uh, memberships cost here. Hopefully it's nothing too crazy. All right guys, so it was actually like $80 for 60 minutes. And it just depends how fast you use those minutes. And also like the membership, I think it was like 40 bucks a month, which was a ridiculous number. $39.99 a month. It's like a gym membership where you could do so much more, right? And um, I just don't feel like spending that extra money. I've, I guess I'm just gonna have to catch the sun when it's at its peak because tanning places are pretty freaking pricey. What is so pricey about them? Anyway, I'm starving and haven't eaten one thing today. It's 3.54, so let's go get some Chipotle, dude. It's down the road, craving Chipotle. Come on. The one, the only Chipotle, dude. Guys, to get more bang for your buck, what you're gonna want to do is get yourself a bowl, right? The ask for tortilla on the bottom, and that way, whenever you like finish whatever you want inside there, you could fold it and have a burrito as well. So make sure you mix it all together, guys. Get everything to make love inside your burrito, dude. So I got tofu, chicken, beans, brown rice. Lettuce. This is where things get real right here. Like, finish half of it, then fold in the sides. Fold it. Fold it. Look at this. Full burrito, dude. Yeah, you're good. All right, guys, so um, we just finished up, and uh, I'm here with my barber, Kenny. So if any of you guys watching this video are in Colorado Springs, happen to need a haircut, I'll be sure to provide his information down below. Also, a link to his Facebook page. That way you guys can get in contact. Absolutely phenomenal at cutting hair. I didn't get a haircut today, but trust me, you guys will see it in a couple of weeks. I'll be looking fly. So I wanna say thank you very much for Kenny for allowing me to be here shooting inside of his barbershop. And until next time, guys, I'll see you guys in the next one. Showing up to the gate, guys. We're about to check in with security forces, all that stuff. You guys ready to encounter? Security forces. Just my luck, as soon as I was trying to show you guys security forces and stuff, my camera dies. I guess because I was recording so long at the barbershop. Anyway guys, I hadn't had anything to eat ever since that Chipotle, which was around 3.30, 4 o'clock. Right now it's 8, like 15, so it was gonna be my second meal. So it's roughly 75 grams of protein, four ounces of chicken, five ounces of ground beef, mustard, ketchup, tomato, laughing cow, big old salad for volume, tomato, carrots, cheese for protein, and um, it's about 75 grams, roughly. I don't think I'm gonna hit my calories for the day. I also gotta clean, because I have room inspections. Watching Rick and Morty, comment down below and you guys watch that show. I recently got hooked on it and I just can't get enough, so really watching that. And I'm gonna try to take a couple of uh, practice exams because I'm taking the EOC coming up very, very soon. 
So let me grub on this, and then I'll catch up with you guys in a second. We just finished cleaning, and it's currently around 10 o'clock at night right now. And you're probably wondering, like, dude, where was the workout footage? Give me one second before you're rushing me into my thoughts, guys. So, I'm about to play the workout footage right now, right? I hit a leg day, by the way. Before you guys watch it, you're probably wondering why, if I hit it earlier, why didn't you see it earlier? Well, there's a speech at the end that I wanted to give to you guys, a little talk, a one-on-one -on -one sort of deal, because I know some of you guys really, really love that, and it's gonna be raw workout footage. Some of you guys came to my channel for specifically for my workout footage and stuff. So if you guys do, want, do not want to watch that, totally understand that's why it's towards the end of the video. However, you guys who are interested, truly appreciate you guys, and there's a little surprise waiting for you guys at the end. So see you guys there. What is going on guys? Welcome to today's video. We're about to get ready for the gym and um, just wanted to show you guys the chemicals I'm taking from the gym. I honestly don't like the flavor of this. Creatine, BCAs in here. Oh, look how small this, this taurine scoop is. Look at this. That is wild, right? So, one scoop of taurine. And I'm ready, man. I feel I'm just super ecstatic to hit the gym. It's calling me. Got the chemicals in me. Feel them running through my veins. And let's just kill this leg workout. And what I have right here is my knee sleeves. I got a question by someone asking, what's, what's the point of these? Why do you have them? To be 100% honest with you, it's more of like a mental stimulation, I personally feel, because these, they, they do keep my knees warm in between my rest periods in sets, right? However, I feel like when I have these on, I could just add like 50 fucking pounds to my squats, guys, easily. So, I'm gonna go to the gym, hit this leg workout, and I'll catch you guys inside. 10 bad bitches in a mesh. Rich song, Millie rock them diamonds on me dancing. When you working hard, then your money start expanding. I got model bitches wanna lick me like some candy. And them drugs come in handy. Last night, savage bitch, but no, I'm not Randy. Hit her with no condom, had to make her eat a plan B. Alright, guys, so as you guys just saw, we just crushed some front squats, focusing more on volume. That's why the weight was decently moderate. So a lot of you guys know I do not incorporate too many deadlifts and I just want to get honest feedback on here guys. I I know I'm gonna keep my, my back from rounding as much as possible, but I want you guys to comment down below and see if you guys can critique my form a little bit. I love to hear positive feedback from people. Even constructive criticism always helps. But one thing I know I gotta work on for sure is my back rounding a bit, trying to keep it as straight as possible. I feel like that comes with more technique and more doing it. So as of right now, I'm probably gonna go up another 10 pounds and that's it, just because I don't wanna mess up my form. I don't wanna be sloppy form just to pull weight, you know what I mean? I wanna be the best form I could be. So after that, I'm gonna drop back down and work some single uh, reps in for a lighter weight and show you guys what I'm about to do. All right guys, so we just finished that awesome leg workout. And as you guys saw, I'm gonna place this clip right here and it's me attempting a 335 deadlift, and it's nothing crazy, right? I knew I could lift it, but as you're to see, I'm gonna try to attempt this lift, and I fail. And there's nothing wrong with failure, as long as you get up and try to give it another shot, and try to succeed deep down, you know what I mean? So if you wait a couple seconds, I'm actually gonna lift the same exact weight and get it off. And you're probably thinking to yourself, why didn't you just lift it the first time, you know? And the same thought came across my mind when I did it. So what I'm trying to get across to you guys is when you look up information, when you look up inspiration and motivation, 
speeches online for people to try to, you know, those those days you feel down on yourself and you're just not really digging it, but you look up motivation and then you, you hear this inspiring speech from this one person, the words that they give, and it completely changes your life, right? It completely gives you a different energy and you feel like you're motivated to continue to do something, right? However, those words that were put together, they did not change you whatsoever because what it made you do, it made you think. It made you think about the certain subject and it made you just change your overall energy on what you thought. Those, that characteristic, that's inside of you. You just have, so happen to bring it out. Why not bring it out all the time? Why not bring it out to someone else who's next to you whenever they're feeling down? You're not, but I'm, I'm not here to try to influence you, you know what I mean? Yes, I love to give you positive speeches and stuff like that, but that's not what my main goal is. My main goal right here is to make you think, to bring out that inner self of yours that you don't think that you have all the time, but however, it's always in you. You just gotta figure it out and find it on your own. So spread the message to other people we all got to work as a team, inspire others to do the exact same thing that you're doing. And once all that happens, the world is going to be a better place. Everyone's going to be so positive. Everyone's going to be looking, looking forward to being successful at whatever they put their mind to. You know? So if you guys enjoyed this little video, I really want to thank you guys so much for just listening to what I have to say. If you made it this far, please comment down below. Let's 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 choose a cool word. Let's choose Chipotle. Comment down Chipotle if you made it all the way down to the end of this video. And I truly appreciate you guys, every single one of you for watching. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. How could I make sense when I got me?